I'll share the screen and I'll tell you the, the platforms. I'll also tell you like how certain platforms are uh, free for screen recording and uh, video editing also. Let me share the screen. There are 81 people. So I'll just wait someone else also if you, you can show like I received a, a few WhatsApp messages also from a few friends. Uh, they have already done this thing. If there is anyone who can uh, share, yes, Dr. Tapnu Kumar, very nice, sir. The quiz test is there. Uh, MCQs. Okay, this is finished also. You checked it also. Marks have been given. Grade is 10. Reattempt the quiz. It means uh, it is open for multiple attempts. Yes, correction is there. You can give the feedbacks, uh, like the response comments can also be there. Your answer is, your correct answer is this. This is fine, sir. Perfectly fine. Yes. And you can add multiple quizzes in the same topic. You can add uh, one quiz to every, you say, thing. And when you are going to add it to grade, if it is not being added to the grade, that is also possible for you. So that goes as a testing, but after every topic, uh, if you work on it, that goes very nice. Uh, nice, sir. We can see that uh, assignments and grades have been placed there. Assignment 2, assignment 3, assignment 4, perfectly fine. Looking good. That is fine. Uh, anyone else who wishes to share something? No? Uh, anyone who has uh, completed the text file to quiz generation? We can shuffle the options and even questions when we conduct the quiz. Yes, this option was there. And the reason is we are restricting ourselves to the basic and the semi-advanced stage of developing a Moodle site. We'll move on to it, Dr. Sardar Prasad Mohanty. The options which are there when you set a quiz, they'll help you doing this thing. Hmm. Anyone else? We have got some people who have prepared the quiz. Good. Copy the class topic through the back option. Yes, Dr. A. Mohan Babu will talk about it. How to restore, like how to take a backup and how to restore it somewhere else. You can keep the backup of the whole course with you. Uh, Learn Easy is presenting now. Nicer, visible. I'm noting down the questions that, you know, which are there in the chat. So once this demonstration is over by all our members, uh, we can work on it. The class copy I have done, restore thing I have noted. Uh, nice sir, this is, this, is, this is nicely done. You have been able to make the quiz. The grades are also visible to you. Please remember you can export the grades once the things have been done. Anyone else? Okay, Dr. Siva Prasad.
okay quiz one highest grade mm, attempts were there correct answer is two okay so you have tried making this and uh, these questions are your own subjects so it seems you made your own notepad file nice when you people will be making your presentations uh, the submission please note that the screenshot should be like ideally it should be of your subject or the course that you have made so that will look more authentic and will help you preserve your energy so in every topic you can put quizzes mm, we have done today uh, what we have done today is the multiple choice one means the or, or this essay type and multiple choice so here we can see the participants okay there are so many participants it's a good thing all 64 means you have been able to develop a proper csv file very nice and then you uploaded these many people they have been made participants that means they have also received their user id and password uh, they will be logging in soon and uh, this is good sir nice good going uh, for mathematics online quiz uh, sir like what we can do is like we can copy paste it in the, in the notepad you can you can try the copy paste of your you, you say maths question that you have prepared in microsoft word even if you can copy paste in the notepad and give it a try we can really shuffle the options or the questions it is there in the settings there when you are setting a quiz when you are making the questions it is not there but when you had added the add activity or resource thing and you gave a name to the quiz and there were certain more things about the quiz setting you could have done that so that is possible to be done but once like the quiz has st been started by the participants we don't do it so the question another in the chat is process for randomly choose questions tips uh Bishwaji tripathi if you your question is the same in which we say can we shuffle the options and even the questions for the receivers like uh, it which is in google quiz also google form based quiz or somewhere so that is also there Uh, there are different plugins so please like uh, uh, when i say plugin i mean to say that there are some external tools which are required to be installed to your moodle site uh, if because genomeo or may not allow the external sites so when you people are using it then it is possible when you're using your own hosting then you can install the plugins so that is possible there's an I, i'll demonstrate the moodle cloud also if because there are more features in moodle cloud there are a few let's say less features in genomeo but there are there's more space so there are two things positives and limitations i won't say negative of genomeo or even moodle cloud one gives you 200 mb space <clears throat> and uh, it also gives you 50 users limit but it gives you a few more things like a h5p in which you can create those interesting drag and drop things that i'll demonstrate uh, copy and restore let me come to that copy and restore now i'll just go to my i'm sharing the presentation everyone <coughs> now this is the course i'll refresh if i'm still logged in the process of adding a question i guess it should be on our tips now we go to the same gear on the right hand side on the dashboard which is turn editing on the same gear but at the bottom of the drop down when we click the gear we have got more we click on more then we find that there is something called questions question bank we after clicking more we see the question bank and then we say import the questions we click on import we attach our notepad file and then before we complete this procedure we can also see that how many questions have been imported and then we save it and after that we go to the same quizzes activity or resource 
if added we click on it if not added we add it under any topic and then click on it after giving it a description a name and different settings also how many attempts uh, whether it is restricted it will stay open from this time to this time and the other thing about shuffling also and then we click on it and then it will show there is no question we click on edit quiz either on the screen itself or again the gear button the setting gear uh, it drops down and we click on edit quiz then we the moment we click on edit quiz we don't see any question then there is a small arrow you click on it and you see add new question add uh, imp uh, question from the bank question bank or uh, randomly pick the questions so what you do is you simply click on uh, add from the question bank and one by one you can select them or you can select them together select them and then add them to your quiz so this is what like the thing was there about to uh, bringing the the questions now we are moving on to the, the the beginning in which the restoration was was there you can restore or something now, now again uh, please remember to be repeated again and again the the magic memories the magic uh, you say the things the main control is there in the dashboard site administration and here this portion this gear is the thing which is going to be there as an active thing with you now when you click here what you find is you find restore you click here you find restore you find import you find backup so on more you had gone to the question bank so when you click on import it means you are bringing the backup of something but when you click on backup it says you can create a backup of your course now see these are the backup settings and these are the things initial settings schema settings confirmation and review perform the backup and complete the backup the moment you complete it you can download it also and uh, because your site is not heavy so the backup is also not heavy so these are the things you want to include the enrolled users so the enrolled users account means details will also come so these are the things you can check it out that I want uh, the question bank also for this course. So you will say next rather than jumping to the final step. Let's uh, run through everything. What I have done is I have clicked on the gear button and went to backup. So announcements to be backed up. So all these things I want to be backed up along with the chat boxes from team leaders, user data and everything. So all these things are there every topic class management assessment evaluation user data i want next then because in the beginning i did not select these options so it is giving me a review one this is the backup file i can change the backup files name here i can make it april so this is possible i can rename it here so that it is downloaded with the same thing now all these things are being seen this is how like i had given the permissions and everything so i'll say perform the backup so the backup is being performed it will get ready for me to download because it was a very small course with less number of files so the backup is created i'll say continue I will say continue down here it is course backup area this is the backup we created I want to download it it is 1.3 MB only I click on download the file goes to this so I go to this model workshop 21 backup I will say save MBZ is the format let me show you if you can see it here this is the folder like where we have got it mbz format which is being downloaded here it is this from this file 21 april backup model 2 course this 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 vt4 teacher 20200421 like 21 4 2020 this is the mbz format backup now this backup can be restored also if you want we can uh, give it a try now just to just to like give you a recap of it how i reached to take the backup of the course i clicked here i went to backup when i went to backup 
the options are here initial settings schema confirmation and review perform backup and complete and then it was shown to me and i downloaded it and i kept it on my system so this is what i have done so how to like upload the already done backup to again and again that is again something that you do a, you you start a course you you can upload it again you go to site administration you can import a course from that side also courses now you can see upload courses or restore courses so we are not uploading we are restoring that way so we'll restore course we click on restore the course and here is the option these are the backup areas and this is the option that i can bring the file so what i do i go here I land in the same folder, click on this file, which is one point this MB. This is backup test. Virtual teaching is the author, Creative Commons, we have given it. So this is the backup which is being installed. Now, see, the choices are, this is the thing it has picked up. I click on restore. Now, Genomeo this these are the details this model 2 format is model 2 and then these are the things backup settings we had decided so these are the things it is going to bring for me and i'll say continue now to which category i want this to go let me throw it to the life skills category so that we can actually like see restore into an existing course no, I want I, I, I can restore it to uh, let me restore it to SS the soft skills in the whole material can also be restored as a new course. It can also be restored into an existing course. So it is up to me. I can go like uh, as a new one new course or I can add it to other course. It can merge see merge the backup course into the existing course or delete the contents of the existing course and then restore. So whatever is there in the soft skills, we are replacing the contents. So I click on continue. There are errors that happen sometimes just because of the user details which are there. See include enrollment methods, but only if the users are included. So if users are there, it will bring the methods also course logs. It has not brought grade history will not come. Obviously, why in the backup like we will install the grade history because we are making it a new course overwrite configuration virtual overwrite this. Overwrite V4T teachers. So everything will be overwritten. And then these are the things that we are bringing and let's see. Review. So course overwritten configuration not done course short name this this is what we have brought you can see virtual teaching. I cannot change it before rest restoring it please remember now this is one thing that that should be there like the question category top originally at system course category context spec file will be created course this okay the questions category for ad tech originally at system course category context in backup file will be created at course context by restore fine restore role mappings student will remain the student we had decided that student will not be called anything the course were restored successfully clicking the continue button will take you to the course you restored now see soft skills life skills soft skills has got something if i click on the dashboard and i try to explore what exactly is there there are two courses everyone one is soft skills and if you remember we had hidden the course we we did not decide to open this course to view so but still we can open the course that course title is ss what life skills are required but still it was a hidden one and the things which have been imported are still there in it i'll just find it out i am expecting that the course has been imported virtual teaching let me go to site administration manage the courses see what we did when we created the course we made it a topic based course so because it is a topic based course and uh, we have brought uh, 
topic based course to a single activity one so the format isn't being able to manage itself in a good manner so let me see if i can change the things now the backup came to soft skills but the problem was this one so now you can see and please see all these things are hidden from students why because we have brought a backup until unless the teacher makes them public this draft will not be public so it, it doesn't mean that you have brought something but you have to you have to use it you have to make it available to the students so and and we had hidden these things from them so this is the one thing activity from topic format to topic format is possible this backup is there in ss you can see so this was one thing that you people can try i'll i'll share with you the now there are two courses which are visible for us but uh, both the courses have got the same contents though now you can see there are two courses soft skills is five percent because it has brought the same thing which was there in virtual so the same five percent completion is there so i'm clicking on virtual teaching training just to show how the quiz shuffling can be added suppose i am uh, like let me see whether here also this is a quiz we can edit the settings not at editing the quiz we can edit the settings and see uh, uh, dear yusuf I'll, I'll say friends this is the quiz and this is about quiz creation the very first time you gave a name and a description you gave a timing we did not give any timing we did not give the grading thing in but see this is a question behavior in the question behavior here it is which is there for you which is called shuffle within questions yes and no i'll say yes and uh, this yes means that it is possible for us to shuffle the questions also here this option is by default a yes one and these are the same things so restrict access common module settings and these are there so this is what is there in virtual teaching uh, restore we have talked about in a quick manner though you take a backup from one place and then you restore it to other place also that is also possible virtual teacher now <coughs> you you can see the screen that i have and uh, i'll i'll open for you the software which is called vsdc the vsdc software is a is a video editing audio editing screen capture software vsdc editor i guess you people can see it because i have shared the whole screen with you uh, ma'am can you confirm or some other participant whether you can see vsdc video editor opening uh, are you able to see like someone can please chat once we have assigned questions for quiz and saved them a faculty role can we not modify uh, no sir once the question has been started like the, the quiz has been started uh, so in between you cannot modify it either suppose like i made a quiz you have taken it as my participant and uh, you reported to me sir there is some error so i have to delete your performance from the grade book the attempt has to be deleted from my side from the quizzes from the quiz backend after that i can edit it but once like uh, once you are uh, you see anyone in the process of uh, attempting that quiz we cannot how to delete the quiz grade attended by we'll do doctor we'll, we'll just talk about it we will talk about it now i have given i guess something about the virus w i r i s quizzes also and these are models for math model plugins for mathematics and sciences now let me go to the vsdc thing if you can see this this is the vsdc interface this is the vsdc interface everyone vsdc video editor free edition is there you can create a blank project you can create a slideshow you can import some content then work on it you can create video capture you can create screen capture also the same way screen castify screen castomatic and uh, one more software which is called loom l double o m loom is also there so these are there these are different uh, video effects blending modes masking tools are there sometimes like you need some mask blurring people in in that thing media combiner is there these are different things in the same bundle so if you want me to like i take a blank project project one is cit vt 
paste and uh, these are the different uh, things i'll say author vt team copyright cc by i put it as this in a way just to like say description we can say test work and these things we are not changing i'll say finish so this is how the editing segment can be seen this segment which is here at the bottom where you see many lines and there are no items to show this is called the timeline people who do video editing they do this you people might have seen some video editors like kind master vivo video in mobile phones so this is the timeline which is there but there is nothing here like like no nothing has been added here so what i can do is i can uh, import something and then uh, we people can probably edit it so those things are possible we can add certain more features to it i wish that like uh, i wish that you people give it a try i'll say if text can be added so you decide what text and you click on okay and then you add the text items and something these things are possible in vsdc it is it is on the model now mm -hmm. now all of you who uh, wanted to know that uh, about the math equations uh, visible uh, please click on this course management icon on the top from where you just check here yeah, this one okay click here and then click on filters yes yes sir uh, okay uh, scroll down Mm -hmm. And now you see the math uh, JX is a filter which is by default on. So what does this mean that this filter, this math uh, JX, it allows you to display the mathematics equations uh, who has come on the screen. Okay to display your mathematics equations properly on the screen if it is uh, active means it should be on so in case if you upload anything and uh, maybe now Parveen can you go back to your any of the activities in the course and go to editor okay sir like we go to quiz or somewhere if you see or a page uh, you can page you can open any page or something anywhere just, just go to the editor okay sir just moving it can be any assignment also you can create an assignment so like uh, this is the assignment which is okay. like we created i click on it yes I'm done sir no, no don't create click on it edit it okay edit it uh, fine sir so i click here on edit yeah mm -hmm. edit settings edit i'll just see i guess it very pressed correctly yes edit settings for assignment and now you see in the description please click on the expander the first icon this of one downward facing yes this expander one. and then in the lower row you see the it is underline strike strike then subscript superscript these are the settings and here is the yeah this one for the yes please click on it okay so this is the and from here you can select uh, uh, this is your text editor and you can edit the equations by selecting your mathematical symbols or anything what it has a very large repository and you can create uh, uh, all your uh, things from here by selecting uh, all these uh, equations etc so this way you know you can you can create your equations by using a combination of things okay this is directly from inside the 
editor okay so those of you Thank who you. want to just try it they can go and uh, the below the screen you can see it is showing you the preview equation preview yeah here it is coming like i'm not like. not from the domain and so i'm uh, clicking anything okay this is the way like it comes here can i save it and then see whether uh, yes 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 so yes. here it comes as this but when i'll save and look at the students and then it will display no, just we have to save it as a whole okay i'll save it here now if you, if you quit right now then uh, it won't it won't be saved okay now i'll save it here so save and return to course or save and display both options will work the same yes uh, somebody has posted a question latex is basically for formatting for uh, publishing purposes here it is uh, without l a it is t e x so uh, i'll just that way open you it. all can try see, it and yeah, here it is here you can see yeah this text you can click on this t e x this is the text editor for it thank you sir and here you you uh, it is like text and uh, you can read that uh, it can, you can drag uh, type it directly into the text or you if you have some uh, html or that you can yeah, post it also directly from there and uh, once you these are expression then the fil it, the filter needs to be activated so that it can uh, display it directly so i so you can read this information which is already available in your moodle page and from here you can get a uh, you know good feel of it i hope that uh, this will help you now i come to save the equation and i save and display though there are errors in it but we have like checked it out whether we can insert certain symbols uh, at present it will show like this but when the student yeah here it is it has come. yeah it has come sir assignment one yes. is there so what you can do you can make uh, those kind of uh, assignment activities you are put into it and uh, similarly in the quiz also you can select the appropriate format and then can have these uh, uh, things built to built into it you can try making a uh, using it and then uh, copy pasting into your uh, question statement and uh, answer statements there many people are using it uh, for their science and mathematics uh, courses mm, sir uh, this is one thing sir. and uh, this way you can proceed and we need your attention for these uh, few minutes this video is about uh, the open education and the endeavors that we all have been doing. Hello everyone, uh, greetings from Brazil. I'm Professor Matheus Batalha. Uh, currently I'm, I'm a professor at Uninasal here in Northeast of Brazil. Also I'm a business scholar at Harvard University in the Romance Language Department. I'm working mainly with um, education and how we can overcome some scenarios that we have here in Brazil, in Latin America in general, and I have a great, great interest in technology and in other things related to how we can use tools to improve what we have in, in our classrooms, in our educational scenario. Um, my brief talk to you this morning is, is, is from talking how we can think about blockchains in, in the scenario of the pandemic, the, the COVID-19 pandemic, which is putting everyone's attention and everyone's effort to bring this pandemic down uh, as fast as we can, but that we, that we have some impact, some, uh, some ways that we needed to think about, especially related to the future of education because mainly uh, from my point of view, uh, it's not going to be the same after this, this crisis is, is overcome, okay? So the first point that I wanted to, to, to uh, come to attention for all of you is that many countries, the goals for education at some levels 
and the strategy of education at some levels uh, had advanced in the past. For example, in Brazil, we had different strategies going on uh, here in the last 20, 20 years, and mainly uh, those strategies help uh, to improve uh, in, in improve uh, enrollments, improve programs, and bring students together and improve lives of many people. And one of the lines of the strategy was related to use online programs uh, as a way, because we here in Brazil, as it's similar to other countries around the world, we have uh, small cities that are not very well connected with where the campus, the university campus is. So we needed to have this technology in place to be able to put people to study. And we have a, a, a huge demographic, as you know, and how we can, uh, you know, put people to to get access to higher education in a, in, in a level that they needed to be so they can have some professional development and also some personal development. But mainly for this year, uh, what we saw in the last two months is everybody migrating, uh, changing from um, presential classes to remote classes due to the pandemic. And the technology through that is, is crucial. And we are seeing right now that in some cases, technology uh, helped a lot. But in some cases, technology also created a, a lot of obstacles for people that were not ready or not able or not having access to good internet quality and don't have um, mainly the tools or, or at least the mindset for it that that's that's the point here in brazil this is particularly difficult for us because uh we've been like a huge country uh, we needed to to have good infra infrastructure to do that but at the same time we know that this infra infrastructure is not only on the side of the university we needed to have from the students also so the process uh, is has been is been it's been evolving from the last two months, but it's been very difficult as well. So we are right now one strategy that we are very focused on is to minimize any problems that the students may have in the learning process. So we are dedicated a lot of time in our classes to help literally students to achieve what they need to achieve in our basic goals from our courses. That, that's one thing is how we um, what I'm saying is how we can integrate technology in the human side of things that that's the first point that I wanted to, to point out because I believe that blockchains is, is very useful to that but we need to understand first what are the human necessities that we are dealing right now so that's the, the, the number one thing that I'm, I'm putting in mind even if you have a lot of technology here in Brazil we still have a lot of people that don't do not dominate this technology don't know how to use it and that creates a very you know very uh, high wall for people to jump and to get into the second place and uh, evidently uh, those online classes those remote classes I believe wide world was made without preparation because we needed to to consider safety first we need to consider that people should should be at home at this stage of the pandemic so it needed to be done uh, you know uh, we, we cannot stop the, the education process uh, because the, this would you know create a huge problem for everybody so what we did was to create these spaces for people to can gather using different tools uh, of course um, you know we, we understand that this is not you know uh, a digital era this is like uh, something in the middle where we, we try to to rebuild this strategy while this this huge outside phenomenon this the pandemic is happening so we needed to you know to adapt the situation it's not the ideal world but it's, it is what it is at one point and the other point is that I believe that 2020 is going to be uh, known as the for education at least the year of remote classes because from what we are seeing right now this pandemic is not slowing down very easily. What we have in our course, this video has been added here, a message from Matthews. So what I can do is I can go here and delete it and add a new one in the class management segment add an activity or a resource i have taken the mode of adding a page 
it could have been a label also there are certain things i'm going the way that i felt i should be putting a page and then putting the message now see what is going to happen is this is about name message for teachers using technology for virtual teaching now here is the description and here is the person now we can say if it has come from matthews now i copy as it is and then i come here and say matthews the hyperlink has come to his page i break the hyperlink i make it properties has said something for all of us now uh, if you remember this was about recording the video this was about recording the audio this was about inserting the image i haven't uh, talked about this i click here uh, is there any connection problem uh, video hanging video breaking there might be because of internet the link is there with you and we wish that you all like look at it now let me come to the exercise what i have done is i have opened the same putting the description or the content thing but matthew has said something to all of us this is the description i'll click description show i come here here i am going to put the video so the same thing which are here are visible here also if this thing can be like create to see the advanced button but uh, i'm not using anything out of it the text can be centralized using this the text can be aligned towards left the text can be aligned towards right also now, these are certain things like which are going to insert some special characters the inserting the table all these things are there for all of us now here this is the content for the page this is the description for the page i like collapse it and then i do here this is managing the files we are not managing the files from the repository we are not using anything from the repository uh, this is video recording this is audio recording this is image this is breaking the hyperlink this is inserting the hyperlinks this portion i am clicking and when i click this one i click this one you see source url a url that i can put a video or an audio so what i do i click on the video i go here i select this i come back i put the source video url i can insert the media rather than browsing the repositories because uh, i'm bringing something external display options are there i can set the size also there are advanced settings for this slow controls play automatically muted or loop loop means it will not stop it will keep on like uh, restarting once it is uh, completed subtitles and captions do i need to add some subtitle track url which is there do i need to give captions to it is there a description that i want to give for the track there is there any chapter or a metadata means a description of it so i'm going the lesser way uh, not putting anything else and then i say insert media now like we were adding it and uh, that did not like got added because this is still empty class management so can i like display it with you like uh, yeah just it's better to demonstrate it quickly uh, fine sir should i just uh, like i go with the page you can only? use it as a label. label you can create a label done sir. yeah uh, fine sir so when i'm creating a label it allows me to like give it more spotlight uh, so I'm going via label now what is the label text is now this was the video which came from Matthews so I copy his name and then I'll say label text is Sir, this is fine and uh, i'll remove this yes i'll remove this hyperlink also which is by default come here because i did not paste it as a plain text now see there is nothing here so i'll be pasting the video bringing the video embedding the video here i'm clicking here again this one in which you can see an insertion possibility of a of this thing so i'm copying this url 
coming here and this is the source URL. This is video. This is audio. So I'm going to video, putting it here, going to display options, deciding whether the size has to be of a particular dimension or not. I'm not using this particular thing. Advanced settings are there. Play automatically. The moment that module, that topic will be opened, it will play automatically as you have seen on your Facebook or your Instagram. The moment you it comes to your screen completely, it starts playing itself. It is muted and it is under the loop. It, it keeps on running again and again. So I'm inserting the media. The video has come here and I'm going to save and return to the course. And when I'm returning to the course, I look at it as a student. Though you can see that it is visible. Uh, yes, sir. Now this is there. This is first segment, second segment, heading and see class management and in the class management, it has become a label rather than becoming a page. So it becomes a part of that particular topic this way. When it is a label, it comes on the screen this way. So this is how it is displayed now. Uh, yes, sir. You can like guide further if. Okay, uh, that's a good attempt. And uh, in this way, actually, the process will remain the same. And you can insert any kind of media, uh, which can autoplay or uh, you, when you click on it, then it will uh, become active. So, okay, please uh, open the VSDC. And uh, yes, yeah, now, you know, there there are so many features into it that it is uh, one of the popular video editing software. So first we will add, say, for example, a video. So in the, uh, you know, you can see that uh, next to this, yeah, to the, to the right little bit, the first vertical column. Yeah. From mm -hmm. here, click on video. Yeah. Uh, like third, I, next I one. This is for image. Okay. Let, let yeah. the image come. Select any. Okay. Uh, Anyone? Then it will ask you from where. So yes, from the cursor point. And by default, the cursor point remains at zero position. And we can uh, increase or decrease the size of this image by dragging the, uh, the corners of the of photo uh, like this way. You can make it little further shorter and put it into the upper right corner, like as a logo. Yeah, and uh, you can uh, reduce the size a little further, depending on its uh, visibility, which you want to make it clear. Okay, very good. Now, the next, let's add a video into it. Yes, this one. Okay, add a video. And uh, select uh, any video which is available with you. I'll see what maybe is, if you have your recording for the previous session. Uh, that is a big Whatever file. Video. So I'll I'm adding a short one. What is Moodle? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, sure. So from click the, on that. It will ask from the cursor position. Okay. So, yes. Now this is. And then uh, it will add. And now you can see what has happened. That the you have added two things. So, no, no, we, uh, we will bring that image. So click on that image. Yes. So, uh, and click on that image icon and from the upper, yeah, click single click on it. Mm -hmm. And then you see the menu bar here, these uh, upper and down green arrows by choosing them yeah, to, from here make it up or down and then uh, it will change its position bring bring to the front bring to the back and that way you can adjust the video so now it will remain on the top of the video uh, yes make its position in that way here okay very good but what will happen uh, let me show you but first from this play button next to 720p Click on it to see that how, no, 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 this pink button, yes, play, yes. So play it and Meets how, Maria. this is how it Maria will is an And just see Academy. the image is going to be 
invisible now yeah the image has gone now why you can stop it pause because if you see the timeline now the time i don't know if you are able to see my mouse pointer or not but the timeline for video is longer yes, it sir. is up to 1 minute 57 seconds whereas the image is only of up to 8 seconds so what you do click on the image and drag its right corner up to the length of the video till there you want it to be displayed so that way now both these things they will play simultaneously yes sir. this way you add so many elements into it right. now let's do one more thing add another image bring the cursor to the zero position add another image selected a different image this time you can go to pictures and there are uh, default uh, pictures in the uh, in, in microsoft i put okay. this one like and then now do one thing uh, reduce the size of this image uh, from the timeline and make it to appear from from the left up to the 16 seconds it's uh, the no, click on the timeline no, no the position yeah wherever you want this it to be remain in position after that click on that image and uh, yes that is okay and similarly the left margin of it just drag it inside uh, yes yes and if you if you hold it and from the in, inside one okay now play see what happens if you see the timeline now from the zero position only two elements will be visible and as soon as around 8 seconds will come the third image will appear and it will remain on the screen till its timeline is visible so that way you can uh, you know add your elements and do it now let's do one more thing click on the uh, video layer in which your video is there the, the the third one yes and go to editor on the top menu click on the editor up 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 yes here and you see here are the things the first one after uh, run wizard there are three things one is add object the same thing you can add so many things then the second is video effects this is here and the third is for audio effects this is to control everything related to the video or audio next is clip uh, cutting and splitting cut means you want to cut a certain strip out of there and split means you want to split this video into various portions the reason we why we use split is sometimes when you start your recording your video in the initial beginning there is some noise the people are settling down chatting doing something so before your actual lesson starts there may be some noise which you want so what you do from the uh, uh, pointer in the bottom in the timeline screen just shift this uh, your pointer to say 3 4 seconds or to some any place okay stop it here now go to editor click on split yes this no no yeah the the purane zamane wala blade yeah this one and click on it so now the yes it has been split it won't be you need to drag these two portions no no not the pointer yeah the video just because depending on the timeline yes and keep on dragging to the right and the first portion you can uh, just uh, uh, split them at present you know because okay can you see the can you see if you can increase uh, just let me guide you you won't be able to see it in this way uh, okay keep your mouse little up go up go up little more up more up and stop stop now go to the left one line below one line below okay to left little bit yeah this plus sign click on this plus sign yeah and it will increase your zoom of the timeline keep on clicking no there is nothing happening i i zoom uh, yes. in, okay so yeah now see 
go bring your uh, this uh, 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 time time liner to the zero position and if you see on your video there is a small red dot uh, at the bottom in the video line that is the demarcation that it has been cut from here yes so you need to split them it is something like you know the lift and the doors of the lift they are uh, attached together mm -hmm. so you have to push them apart so place your mouse pointer here on the on the thin line and separate them or okay okay click on this one where they are uh, uh, joined now click on this portion and drag it to the below line like you just yes. Yeah, yes. Just yeah no okay okay you bring it down bring it just drag it down yes here this way you can you know now that is the splitting so the in the editing whatever and if you click on that small chota small video click it and press the delete button uh, it will be deleted so it has gone so the unwanted and you can just simply drag it to the first corner or wherever you want this video to be placed you just need to drag left right wherever and then okay now uh, try play and uh, this will be playing this way so the initial portion has gone now this way we need then there is another interesting thing i don't know it is 325 how long your uh, uh, session is going on uh, open a new tab in, in your uh, uh, browser let's do a, an interesting thing of checking how we can use the green screen effect uh, in video uh, okay, please uh, open a new tab and just type here green screen spider man. And click on, uh, okay, maybe just select, uh, just check the first video. These are the images, go to the video. Uh, okay, click on it, it is a YouTube video, click on that. and let's see how long it is okay open this video the first one maybe you can open it okay this one it will ask from cursor position okay yeah that is okay so now this has come uh first uh, reduce its size just leave it click on the video inside mm -hmm uh and uh, drag and drop and make it a little shorter and adjust it on the screen yeah okay this much means this way whatever size now go to editor and video effects click on transparency go to transparency and to the right background remover and okay whole parent duration okay click on okay yeah don't, yes that is by default it is selected and this way okay click on that means again we will we can select it from its properties and it's its properties click on the properties okay this is the property window for hmm and background remover background color you need to select the doppler will come fill background no uh, i think okay no 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 this will add color uh, okay, try but uh, anyway i think there is some issue with this uh, the video which i have downloaded but let us see how it works now this our element has been added you adjust it actually a doppler comes and this automatically this color is removed like it has been removed with them there are 48 participants two drafts and two submitted and two needs grading so this is a course which is ongoing and on sunday the students will be completing this course Now this is the course which is happening at present. I'll just keep it open. I'm showing you 
uh, how it looks like see everyone this is the uh, platform which is hosted on my website this is the website address and this is Moodle hosted on a private website so when I do this let me see I guess the details are saved if no they are not uh, there was some other password that I will just check this is the Moodle cloud and I can see whether grades have been given to someone or not because I checked uh, one more one assignment uh, students will need your help initially to know how the student end will be working so you need to assist them see Vikas Chaudhary's resume was received and then I have given eight to him and uh, grades for these people are still awaited overall grade at present of the class is still eight so this is the thing which is happening in this course uh, I can see that all the students have not probably participated in it not all of them have noted uh, you can further explore this one I can show you the benefits of this because it is not available for uh, genomios so I'm not taking your time to explain it to you but you can certainly use it I'm showing you what exactly is being done I created an activity uploaded it on Moodle and that activity is here and you can see this is a practice one this is what is happening now see every day is the dash day to start working okay I do right day suppose I do a random pickup I'm reading and I'm finding the correct words about resume writing and then this you become this to them you become you become you become what job profile the age of this is gone and this I'll say I'll check and these are wrong from my side I retry so this is just a practice nothing else such a, such an exercise can be made on h5p I'm displaying to you the Moodle course Moodle site which has been hosted by us on our personal server but it is the same course that you saw on the virtue on the employability enhancement now you see the uh, we have used a theme also and this is a free theme we can buy a theme also there are themes and there are plugins also now this is the course employability enhancement if you see the same course is here but this is our own website so this is our own server so we can make the changes that we want these colors and all these things are possible and suppose I go to site administration I go to themes appearance I can make all the changes so this is the same course and the interface is different here it looks more professional but once you are uh, expert with that thing on Genomi or Moodle cloud then hosting is not a tough thing to do you can do that and uh, your friends from computers can help you initially and after that everything is easy for you now you see this is what we have done this these are the appearances that we can change these are the themes we can select but all these things are available when you host it yourself when you are hosting it on Moodle cloud so there are certain limitations but still we have started like I started as a as a learner I uh, I started with the Moodle cloud moved on to Genomio and after finding out that I can work on Moodle I can use it as my virtual teaching platform my Moodle site then I I decided to host or develop it further on the personal one screencastify we have shared with you this class is being recorded through screencastify you can see that this this is the recording of the previous one uh, on your on your screen you can see now I because we have see. brought a backup now this is the complete recording a very high quality recording it is being saved to my Google Drive so I request you all to go for screencastify or screencastomatic as you wish to so you do this you can download whatever has been recorded as an export as mp3 because it, it it is going to have the format of webm which can be uploaded on youtube directly but mp4 is a good thing for further editing also so you can directly publish on youtube and because when you make a make an account on screencastify what you until unless the teacher now see what you get is it by default saves to your google drive suppose uh, like i'll say more options let me show you my google drive my Google Drive saved these automatically 
and uh, I can download them and edit them later. I can download the converted file you know, just after the class also. The moment I'll click on finish for today's class, it will itself start uploading. This so a shorter video is always better. But there may be certain conditions or circumstances when you have to record your, say, lecture for the students to watch it. And that lecture may be of 40 minutes, one hour or something are there. In that case, you can use a different kind of tools. One is a screencast o -Matic, which is an online tool. You can install it offline also. And uh, that works very well. But uh, in that uh, end, the beauty of it is that uh, and you, it can, you can create your uh, a video with your video uh, integrated into it. Yours means the speaker's video also. Uh, as the uh, speaker keeps on speaking and displaying the material on the whiteboard then that can be uh, you know integrated into it so uh, 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 that way uh, screen customatic you can try and you can use it uh, uh, it, it it's a, a, a uh, Arvin, you can uh, you can uh, means show your screen yes, and you uh, can do the uh, try for it also but here also, you, in one go, you can create a video of uh, 15 minutes. And then what you need to do is that if you suppose when it happened, one of my trainee, she was preparing a video and she kept on recording, recording, recording. And when it was around uh, one hour, 10 minutes or something, and when she, she wanted to save it, it started giving trouble. So it is always better when you are uh, doing your recording pause regularly, watch it, and then proceed further. Because otherwise, whole of your effort, uh, you know, may end up in not a good product. So the recording, it's, it's always a good idea. This is a free website. You can sign up on it and create your login. Uh, okay, it will come. Now download, uh, type your email ID. Uh, this is a free tool and here you won't find the time. The only thing that the speaker's video, it does not record. But using your PowerPoint presentation or your screen, you can make very good videos out of it. And this is a very small application, works offline. And it's a quite a good application. I have been giving training on it. You can see that there are no matter works or time limits. And you can upload it on YouTube. The uh, screen customatic, if you use it, it gives you a watermark in the lower left corner. So, uh, okay, download that uh, uh, file. Uh, yes, I did. Mm, okay, download will start, sir. In the center, uh, yes, this one. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, very good. Now click on the first slide so that that becomes activated on the first slide in the left, and click on the red. No, there my your microphone is off at present. I can see your microphone. Yeah. Uh, you need to unmute. Yes. Now click on this red dot. This is for recording. The red dot. Yes. And uh, start explaining your uh, present uh, slide and keep on changing first, second, third by clicking in the left. Go ahead, please. Now start now. Okay, next. Go quickly, three, four slides. And now you can pause the video. And click on done.
now it is preparing and click on the play button in the bottom no no on the bottom yeah yes here I'm not hearing your voice, but I hope that you are able to hear your voice. So if you if you think that everything is okay, the screen will change. We have to just little wait because it depends on how much time you uh, devoted to that. Yeah, the second slide is here. And then the third slide will come. So in a way, whatever animations or any image or anything within that recording border area will come, will be captured here. Now, uh, it can upload to YouTube directly also if it will ask you permission. Okay, let's do that. Click on upload to YouTube. Or you can save it as a video and then edit it using VSDC or something. Uh, yeah, it is asking you title, description, etc. Click on OK. Means you can you can you you know that uh, sign in to. yeah that way you need to sign in and uh, uh, you know add it to your but let's save it as video okay desktop yes save and in a separate tab please open YouTube. On this, yes, you, you can have annotations because it is your uh, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So whatever you will select at that time, you can select a pen and uh, uh, carry out the activities. Simple function is what it sees, it records. So it is up to you what you can do on your screen. Click, yes, click create a video, click on that. and then upload video, select it. Okay, close this one. Yeah, learn, uh, yeah, a little bit. Close, close it, close it. Ah, yes. Now, no, we'll come back. Okay, click on it again. Click on the camera button, upload. And uh, now, can you drag and drop? Do you know how to drag and drop? Click outside this window, white one window, it will close. Yes, now, either you select file from the desktop where you saved it, or uh, you can simply drag and drop also. Uh, no, this is shortcut. There was a, there will be a movie. I think there was a name for screen recording. Yeah, it is here. Yes. Okay, this is the name. Then uh, in description, you can write this video explains what the you selected. And then scroll down in this small window, scroll down, then yeah, in playlist, you can create a playlist. Oh, you already have, you can create more also. And uh, then, yeah, you can select it or you can create and then click, click on click on done. You see, they're done at the bottom of the screen in this small window. Okay, now it is made for kids. No, no, if you if you, if you you select, no, it is not made for kids. It will consider that uh, this is an adult video. So be careful of that. Yes, it is made for, everything which is safe is made for kids. If, if you say that it is not for kids, it means that uh, this is meant only for adults. Uh, okay, uh, click on more options. No, no, the Creative Commons license, more options in the left. 
more uh, below age restrictions there is that big word more options in the left yes this one scroll down language you can write english scroll down further there are so many languages which you can means just select anything okay and here standard youtube license click on that and you can select creative commons and below that if you see there are two tick marks allow embedding if you untick it then others won't be able to embed your video like that so depending on whatever you feel and then at the bottom there is category you can choose a particular category if it is education health tourism entertainment what what from there are so many things available to you you can select uh, education is there if you scroll down you can find it education yes and there are now click on next uh, these are okay when we go next make it public or unlisted it depends on you but public is better and you can change it any time also in future there is no problem that once you fix it it won't be okay now click on publish so it is done now uh, yeah copy this uh, yeah click click on the copy button which is next to it and you can uh, yes and you can share it in the chat box so that everyone can see and you can play the video so dr shaktiwal has uh, posted the link uh, everyone can try and you can play the video on your youtube and see how it looks okay so any other person who has tried they want to show your work i noted that there were some other people coming up on the screen they were trying at that same time i have installed it now sir but i won't take time like if they have got some other uh, queries no let's let's hear from let's yes, hear from our colleagues participate please yes one person is dr gajendran is sharing oh doctor yes ah yeah this video is created ah, that's good he created a video of his uh, uh, model course yeah perfect like that goes for his uh, submission and good one like this is the guide this is a user guide he has created regarding labels and the same way for every activity it can be created good work yeah the screen is quite clear that's good go actually i do not hear the audio i hope that the audio is there and if you have linked your youtube account you can try upload to youtube directly from here and you can see that edit button is also there so if you think that you need to clip some portion you can do the editing uh, if needed depends can you try uploading directly from there uh, from within free camp yes yeah sign in yes and go to your gmail account uh maybe uh, since you are using uh, which email id because you are you are in the google meet you may be entering uh with that is it the same thing or the different one or maybe you can try later on because you are connected to this yeah save it on your desktop 
and uh, give it a good name. In fact, the what you lot. should do, yes, make and your PPT with all the animations. Explaining your uh, present uh, slide the and video in your full screen mode because that animations work very well. And this recording area is also make it full screen. And then all the animations, it will record it as a movie. It will come like that. Yeah, this is the one. And then now you go to YouTube and upload it there. You just remember that uh, the correct one is uploaded. So no, no, open a new tab. Anyway, it's okay. Any other person? Uh, any other query? Uh, sir, one question came. Uh, it said annotations are allowed through FreeCam while uh, we are working on it or they can no, use actually, another? Actually, annotations are done uh, in the editing mode. Yes. So when you are, uh, you know, displaying some, uh, you are, when you are creating your video at that time, if you are using your uh, uh, PPT or something, at that time, you just select, uh, because in uh, uh, MS Word also, you can select a pointer, you can yes. draw a line, something through that. So annotations are possible that way. It's a, it's simply the recording thing. So whatever it see, it, it can record it. Right, sir. Uh, any other query that you people have, or you have already started working on your assignments, like you can share it later if you want to. If somebody else has also created or even uploaded on the video, share the link or play it on the video, YouTube video and share your screen. Uh, any friend, any colleague who wants to present the screen, wishes to share something? Uh, one person, one faculty wants uh, the overall for yesterday and today class for conclusion. Uh, fine, that I'll take 10 minutes, like after 5-10 minutes, and then I'll conclude everything. But once we are taking time from Sharma sir, so if there are any queries regarding the use of these innovative tools, which will help you create your contents, the videos, the audios, the screen recordings. Uh, sir, I guess no questions are coming. Okay. Uh, uh, all the best to everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, fine. I'm presenting the screen now, sir. And uh, I'll share the things that we have done. Uh, we are uh, moving on to the course that we people created, the virtual learning. So just to remind everyone, I'm presenting. So just to like uh, share with you all, we started with the Genomio thing. We made an account. There were three things that we entered. The very first thing we entered on Genomio was that we selected a address. An address was selected by us for the site we were creating. We entered the email ID and then we had created the things we wanted. We created this account. It took some time from the side of Genomio. We received a password also. We logged in and then uh, we got this kind of a page without this particular thing. We just got a dashboard without anything. There was the word admin user here. We went to this segment. We changed the profile, got our real name or the name we want. We uploaded a image, an image also. It is there only. After that, we came to site administration. In the site administration, what we did, we are doing a quick, uh, I'll say, run through of this thing that we had done. In the site administration, we go to courses. We created a category. After creating the category, we saw that our created category appeared on the right hand side and uh, there came the option of creating a course. So what we did, we created the course and when it was about creating the course, we gave all the details, the name was given. Uh, an important thing 
there were two important things one was from when to when you want to offer the course so you can select a start date you can uh, avoid the ending uh, it you can keep it open you may not enable the ending date another thing was the format of the course you decided a topic format an activity format or a social or a weekly one so uh, what we had decided is we thought of the thing which was about the topic one because we had the assignment of two topics for this thing also uh, can somebody type in the type in here that you have heard me till now okay now after that particular thing when the site the course was created we came to the course we came to the find sir we came to the dashboard again we clicked on customize we clicked on customize then we added the category add a block we added the category and the course block so that it is shown there we clicked on the course we entered the course and we saw that because we had taken the topic so by default four topics were being seen there by us in in advance four topics were created so we changed the names of the topics in the announcement segment we wrote some announcements we entered something after that we started the addition of activities and resources so when we started the activities and resources we all had decided on uh, that was what the the thing we thought of for these two days that we used a page we used a url we used a quiz also we we inserted a downloadable file also so these things we had done we can insert a quiz everywhere in all the topics we can insert the quizzes at the end also in the fourth thing which was there so add an activity and all these things were done by us so this is what we had done the user creation was again done from the site administration we went to site administration after going to site administration what we did was we went to users rather than going to courses in the users one we uploaded the users add new user is option to add one by one but we went to upload the users the csv file format uh, we have so we we used uh, the username the proposed username in small letters without space we uh, i had suggested the student 1 2 3 4 you can make it the way you want to make it like cit student 1 or it can be cit 1001 so you did that thing after after adding the after adding the user uploading the users with these details through the csv file the users went to the site uh, you say go down the site storage then you came to your course and you clicked on participants when you clicked on participants there was no participant so what you did you simply went on to enroll the participants and when it came to enrolling them you could see that because you had uploaded you could see that in the selection segment what all the names are appearing so what you did you selected them one by one the designation or the role you gave them was of a student so they were enrolled they will be getting an uh, notification from your side with their username and a possible password temporary password from the side of uh, moodle site that you have created and they will log in and they will see the course so this was what we have done the quiz thing we have added like the dashboard has got the course on the dashboard uh, i'll just open it also on the dashboard what we had was there was turn editing on just below the profile segment you turn editing on and then you then you edit all the segments of it keep one thing in mind there and th there only we have got more on the more you click and you go to question bank and you upload questions through the notepad one so this is what we have done when you have uploaded through the notepad it uh, all the questions go to the bank question bank then again you come back to your uh, course there uh, you add on the quiz activity resource or it is previously added then you edit you click on it and you you enter into it it says there are no questions you click on the gear button then you say edit quiz and when you click on edit quiz then the procedure is simple of uh, adding a new question adding a question from the question bank or picking up randomly so you add it from the question bank because you have already saved it in the question bank so these are the things embedding is possible you simply pick up a link all the things which were there i have stopped the screen uh, please note don't worry what you do is you simply go to the description or the content portion there is a button in which you see a page 
and a video camera link you click on it and then you do the rest of the things of uh, putting in putting a video embedded video you can also do one thing that you can record a two minutes uh, audio which can also be placed here so these are different 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 things randomly so if there is something that you people want to ask and need a quick reply from my side how this is done notepad is required csv is required please remember site administration user and courses please remember dashboard participants so these are the things if there is you can uh, I, I request everyone like those who want to speak something those who want to say uh, some words about what they have understood you can kindly uh, share your observations also Uh, good evening, sir. This is Dr. Gauri Shankar. Sir. Uh, calling from uh, Chennai. Sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, audible, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, I have been uh, through this two days workshop and uh, I have not yet tried all the features because there was the internet disconnectivity here and there. Uh, but mm. still, I will be definitely completing the assignments which have been given. Sure. And uh, it is really a. It's a, it's a uh, for me, being a first-time user of these things, I feel it's a, a really tedious process. But still, uh, it is a one-time process. Once we do it, I understand that we can uh, apply these things the same procedure for all the other courses which we are handling. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, uh, thank you for your presentation. Thank you for the neat and uh, 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 very, very uh, brief explanatory on each and every component, starting from the uh, uh -huh. course creation. Uh, you have explained us the use of different softwares like this uh, a video editing software, uh, recording our uh, uh, PPT and hosting in the, the YouTube. Uh, uh, I, 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 I really appreciate your uh, uh, explanation and I would like also thank my special thanks to Professor Ramesh Ji. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, danyawad, danyawad. It was a really very good presentation, sir. Thank you, sir. We, we really appreciate your words. And I'm also thankful to Dr. Sharma for getting in and then guiding all of us for those things. Uh, if there is anything that you people will need, you can simply like if you have got trouble in typing, you people can record an audio message and drop it uh, through the WhatsApp to me. And your audio message will be replied with an audio message. It seems like uh, speaking for these two days, it seems that I have learned all the things. Like I can look at a blank page and tell you the process from where to go where. Uh, these were two days. And uh, please remember, this was just the beginning. It is just about like uh, how I was taught this thing by Dr. Sharma uh, and other mentors also. Like he has guided this thing like you learn writing. So it is all about your practice. It's that you have learned writing now. So you have learned the basics. And once you people have uh, got decided this thing that you'll be using it, don't worry, you will be using it. There are people in the world who are using it. So we are not the first ones. So we won't worry. Anything else that you, which you people are still worried, you can. Talk. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm Dr. Gofi from uh, Tamil Nadu, Karma Planter Association College. Sir. It's in Teni District. Uh, actually, this is a new experience for me. Uh, you have managed very well the all today and to, tomorrow. I mean yesterday sessions, and also supported by Professor Sharma. Yes, sir. It's highly appreciated one. Really, we are not uh, implement everything uh, now, but uh, it's uh, uh, it's quite easy for us to implement uh, in next few days. Yes. So really, really, it's a uh, uh, next level of uh, learning and a teaching process. Really, thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you very much for the organizer. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sir. Yes, we also appreciate the organizers. Like they they had come up with such an idea uh, where yeah. vir virtually teachers are being trained to teach virtually. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thanks for your words. Uh, any other observation? Any other requirement, please? We are handing it over otherwise to ma'am and uh, the CIT team. You also deserve thanks from our side and from everyone's side. Yeah. Thank you, sir. And yes, thank you, participants. Uh, Hello, sir. It was a great. Uh, yeah, please, sir. Please, sir. Yeah. Sir, how to create the CSV, CSV file, sir? Uh, CSV, sir. When you are when you have saved those things in the required column, sir, 
in the file button in your excel when you click save as rather than save you click on save as so when you are saving it as save as other than the name of the file below you can select the option of saving it in a particular format so there you will file you will find that it is uh, being saved as a csv save as no you, uh, in the microsoft excel spreadsheet if you have put all the details only then you can save it save as how will you do go for that microsoft excel so how will it just going to convert that one uh, i'll just open it for you it's just a matter of a minute just a second here is my screen coming to you no sir your face only coming sir. i'm just bringing sir it is like can you see an excel sheet No, 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 sir. Uh, there Hi, is a... sir. Now I got it. Yes, sir. I... Where it is to create that Excel, sir? I click on... Uh, see, this is a normal Microsoft Excel sheet that we make in our college universities for documents or something. Like, I click on file. I don't yes. click on save. I click on save as. This one. Okay. I click on save okay. as. When I, I decide where it is going to be saved, I take the folder and after that disappears now you must recognize this and then i click here okay. sir here it is csv okay. and sir, i registered all the names in uh, manually sir how will it is to be converted to excel sir? Uh, you can export the student result also but if you have already like entered the name so you, you next time when you do it in the whatsapp group will uh, I'll, I'll post the csv format again so you can use that document you can keep on copying it and using it if you have got trouble in uh, transforming or converting a normal excel sheet into uh, just one minute yes sir uh, Pravin, sir sir, uh, sir uh, these two days uh, really uh, we have had a very good experience uh, main thing to appreciate is you have a very big patience on your side <laughs> no. and you have answered and uh, answered and you have talked to us with a lot of patience and a uh, lot of understanding we are very thankful thank for you, that i you. hope in future if any of the members uh, are able to take, interact with you please uh, respond so that maybe sir. after uh, two or three messages or four messages they will pick up on their own uh, don't worry you just don't worry about it see we <laughs> we all sir. we all are an extended family now the north connects with the south don't worry <laughs> yes 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 don't this is our technology connecting uh -huh. from kurukshetra to coimbatore and coimbatore to yes. maharashtra yeah yeah very <laughs> yes. very very what a big so, thing is happening don't don't worry about it you do share the queries we won't mind yeah thank you thank you thank you okay thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay hello yes Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am uh, Vishwajit Tripathi from Bhubaneswar. Sir. I have attended nice. two days continuously. Oh, great. <laughs> great. And the things uh, you explain and the things which is available, it is very much essential for the faculty community. Mm, yes, sir. Because uh, it is not for the uh, this situation, lockdown situation, it is also required because the student only getting five hours compared yes, to the faculty. Yes, sir. So if it is every faculty, if they upload at least the core part or the difficult part of a topic subject, yes, then sir. it will helpful to the student. Yes, sir. Yes, it sir. will uh, better for the career. Yes, Thanks true, for your true. effort. Thanks for Thank your you. Thank you. Thanks to you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Uh, sir, uh, I think that's all from participants. Yes. If anyone have any, uh, anything you can share. Yes, ma'am. WhatsApp group is there. Is Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, ma there is a request that uh, kindly, sir, please also uh, send us the today's recorded session uh, as you did yesterday because so that is really beneficial like for us. Done, Wherever done, the done. link we got missed, uh, I am able to catch uh, those for points. Sure, even everyone. sure. Don't worry about it. Yesterday also I did the commitment thing. Today also nobody needs to worry. Thank you. Okay, okay ma'am. Okay.
Okay, sir. Thank you. I personally want to thank you for this thank patient uh, uh, handling of this group. And uh, I think this is the needy program of current situation. Yeah, all yeah, yeah. Said. And uh, really thank you, sir. Thank you for all your uh, support for, uh, from the beginning until the last moment. And I take this opportunity to pay, uh, thank Sharma, sir, also. On behalf of CIT TLC, I thank uh, Pavim, sir, and Sharma, sir. And yeah. uh, we hope participants uh, could have benefited a lot or depending upon their uh, So we wish the uh, participants should apply this to, uh, to their uh, career and uh, get benefited out of this. So if any queries also, we'll be happy to uh, share with the resource person and uh, get that clarified. So you are always welcome to post your uh, queries to us. And uh, I thank all, and thank you all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Sir. Okay, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Signing yes, out. Thank you.